With the DLC, Poland Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki has formally requested that the European Commission prolong the prohibition on Ukrainian corn, wheat, sunflower, and grapeseed beyond the imminent deadline. Morawiecki also asserted via Twitter that Poland will not allow Ukraine grain to flood the country, reaffirming Poland's commitment to keeping its borders close to Ukrainian grain and protect its domestic farming industry. Speaking to farmers in Kosovo-Laki, Morawiecki highlighted the upcoming parliamentary elections on October 15 and the Law and Justice Party's efforts to court farmer voters. Poland has supported Ukraine during the ongoing conflict but has faced former protests leading to the ban on Ukrainian agricultural imports. Under a prior agreement with the EU, Poland, Hungary, Bulgaria, Slovakia, and Romania had imposed a grain embargo from April to September 15 to shield their farmers from adverse effects. EU Agriculture Commissioner Janusz Wojciechowski, Poland's former agricultural minister, is actively working on extending the embargo. Morawiecki also emphasized that Poland may, might take unilateral actions if the European Union or EU doesn't grant the extension as they are determined to maintain market stability. In response, Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Michael expressed concerns over the ban and hinted at potential legal action, invoking the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade Norms if trade law violations occur for political reasons. Meanwhile, the European Parliament will also discuss the matter. Back to you, Elsie. Thank you, Joselito Liquidor, reporting live from Malaysia.